Hey everyone, Lens from Oz here and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. Um, I'd like to do, uh, yeah, we're still doing our research here, I'd like to do something straight up now. We we have a little bit of a surplus here, I don't want to burn through it too much. Um, but I'd like to set up something that allows us to get the hydrogen fuel cells. So these things here, fuel rod, sorry. Um, so it's a fuel, as it says, and you can read through the uh, the description there, it says energy is 50 megajoules and it gives plus 200 fuel chamber generation. Now, if we go back to our energetic graphite, which is what we're currently using, it has an energy of 6.3 megajoules and a plus 60% fuel chamber generation. So as much as we're getting this as kind of a byproduct of our solution here, um, I'd like to use some of the titanium that we've got. Got a little bit of inventory here. And just set up a, a, a basic thing here for the moment until we can get, um, you know, maybe, maybe its own setup. Maybe I should just do a, so we've got a fair bit of oil coming in. This is processing its brains out. It probably needs to be even bigger than it currently is. Uh, maybe there is another oil that's right there. That's not too bad. We might be able to... Ooh, ooh, we have thrusters. Hey. We now have the reinforced thruster. Nice. So, next research. Look at this. 1200 blue, 1200 red, and just 120 yellow. So that's going to be producing like a madman. All right, let's, let's actually do this. Let's grab another... I don't know, do I grab another one of these guys and just tee it into this set and then have a... So it's producing its own and then run whatever other you know, byproduct back out. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Uh, you know what, what do I have? Do I have any chemical plant I would need? No, do I make... I need to get away from that shot coming across the screen there, that's pretty full on. Uh, I need another oil extractor. Can I make one of them? And I probably need two of these guys. Alright. But can I get the oil extractor in here? That is the question. Uh, where are you? Oil extractor. I can. It will. I don't know why that's flickering. Can I rotate you? That's fine. It'll come out this side. Yep, needs some power. There we go. And then we'll want to do the, the normal processing stuff. So let's grab. Are oh, we not built yet? No, we're built. Oh, there, there. Stop looking. I found it. Uh, you are going to be going from oil into those two. Yep. And then we're going to have a belt. That's fine. Let's get the belts from here out and up across hello across and down again spaghetti oh that's terrible that is terrible let's not do that <laughs> I, I'd be better off running the belts this way, right? And then in. So you need power. Let's put it here so it can cover both. And then I want to put a second one down. Yeah. And the idea here is you'll be doing the other one where you're going from those two outputs. And I want to 
I think I can do this. Like this. And then have... So our two outputs are refined oil and hydrogen. So let's grab this and go... I'm actually going to do this. And then in here... I want to see if that works because anything else extra can continue on okay so let's do I have any tanks I have one okay let's get a storage tank here and then what I would like is a way of I wonder how I can do this do I have a do I have splitters or anything like do, have I researched any sort of splitter? What I'd like is some form of moving items on a belt. Do they have that in this game? That is something I have not looked into. Oh, I, I can use this. Oh, I've got a splitter. Duh. Uh, <laughs> I've got splitters. Uh, what I could do is set this up so that only no input belts. Okay, I want to put a belt from here to here. And we are going to say that its filter is hydrogen. Okay, so only hydrogen will go this way. The other stuff will go the other way. If I do this. We'll do that and then it'll back up because um, we've got a, a you know nowhere for it to go and then what I can do is potentially run from here to there and then the oil will go that way and only only the hydrogen will come out okay so next thing we need to do is bring the items out of here not exactly where I should have put that, but that's fine. We'll bring the belt this way. And we'll do the same thing. We'll put a splitter down. And put the belt going in there. And then a belt going this way and back. And one going forward. Okay, so then we go this way. has a filter of that. And everything else should go the other way. So if I get that doing that, it may not be uh, quick enough. So let's get a second one again. Excellent. Look at that. It's going to back up a little. All right. Now what I need is, because all of this is just for making these cells. So I want to change you and make you that you just need hydrogen and titanium ingots so again we're going to put a storage down I'm going to run a belt literally like that and then in no not that way I want to go Oop. Come on. that way and then I want another storage for the output because this is just going to be at this point oh, at this point this is just going to be for for me for my fuel I'm sure there'll be a point later on where um, we need to do something else but okay so this one let's put some titanium in and that should start making our little hydrogen fuel cells And hopefully it's it's enough to to keep things moving. I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure what sort of arrangement this is going to do, but it's not going to run. It's not going to run out. Let's put it that way. And anything extra is just going through here. Anything this doesn't need will continue on and be used in this process. So it's, it's not wasteful at all. Um, we will have to keep 
making sure we have titanium coming in. Okay, we have 500 to go. What else should we be making is, is the question. Um, I think so far in terms of buildings, we're, we're good. These are being made. We're making that now. There is a secondary thing, but that requires a some sort of resource we don't have yet. I think so far, everything production-wise is good. We got these guys. We got a little bit of oil. Let's give that and. That's water, you don't need that. Don't know if there's anything else I'm holding that I could get rid of. Okay. How are you doing? You have full supply. And I'm guessing down here has everything it needs too. Yep. Look at the weight, power wastage. Hey. 180 degrees? cool okay so that is something that is occurring um, this belt has almost run out so now that that's almost run out what I could do is go click and then well, I better go to the other end and I think the other end is disconnected right this is a lot of belts I'm about to pick up yes the other end is disconnected so if I shift on this and go click, that's got 131 belts back again a nice little um, spaghetti cleanup and we could be doing it for this right so we've got uh, what is this coming across this is the diamonds isn't it hello Can you get closer closer so these are the diamonds and we could by all means put one over there and one here and then just have bots bringing back and forwards but at the moment this is probably okay same yeah, that, that wouldn't be worth it at this point. Um, because that's coming from there. Once we start getting really spread out on the planet, like, for example, these... These are going to start to run out soon. And I swear these just keep topping themselves up, or we're not using a ton. I know this, this will run out at some point, and we will need to go further afield to get our resources. And if that's the case, then we start putting one of these down wherever that resource is, and one of these wherever we need it to come to, and we'll just run them with drones. Right. So far, though, everything is ticking along. So I might just put a cut in. We're I don't know, almost halfway through the episode. I might put a cut in and uh, wait until this one completes, and then we'll work on. Actually, before we do that, let's. Let's have a bit of a look. If we go in here, we can actually see what's required. These guys. So we're going to need to make those new motors. And we're going to need to make that uh, stronger. Where is it? This stuff. Okay. So that needs... We need to go over here. We need to bring steel and the acid and titanium up here so we've got titanium in this chest we need to bring steel to here and we've got the acid there acid productions here so we can bring acid out bring titanium out of there yeah Okay, we've got iron here that we can make steel from. So let's set up a little bit of an iron process while we're waiting for these last things. How many have I got? I've got a couple of miners. Uh, place them on this side. Because, I mean, belts are belts. Tons of them. Okay, so there's a couple of miners. And then we're going to want... I guess... Let's zoom in. Uh, one, two, three, and then coming out the other side of it to make steel, get the belts in.
along here. And then from there. Uh, you know what, I should probably put... Let's do this properly and actually put a... I should land actually before I run out of power. Um, put one of these guys in. From you to you. From you to you. And from you to there. Yeah, let's give it some power and get some of the stuff kicking off. Oh, not that one, that's here. There. One here. Okay. You are going to be producing iron ingots. You are going to be needing input. Yep. And then the output. I'm not sure how many we're going to need coming back. Get four in there. I don't know whether that's too many, but get one more here. Interstellar Logistics System. Unlocked at the Magnificent Space Elevator, the Interstellar Logistics Station. As long as you put logistics vessels in the station, you'll realise the transportation materials between planets. Very, very nice. We definitely need to get that underway. Let's do this. Out of here. Like so. You are making... Steel. Copy and paste. Okay, and then out of there we want to bring... We need to bring the acid over and essentially we're going to want one of these interstellar things here to bring the titanium in because that's our main goal okay let's get this going with titanium here so we're going to bring it out of this storage once we get the titanium from the other planet i'll bring the belt in here and remove this so for now we'll come out this side and then I want I guess steel coming out bring it into the loop again so let's grab oofed let's just put two of these in you are making oh is it not made in this machine Okay, what's that made in? What are you made in? Oh, it'd probably be a smelter as well, right? Yes, a smelting facility, so that's fine. These things can go. So we want to bring... This out and back. I want to bring... Another belt through here, and then potentially this one. Let's work out what space we got here. I need to come further down. So, one, two, we're going to turn you into making this. Copy paste. You do need power. And then we need to bring, come on, mouse, please work for me. I might be looking at getting a new mouse, I think. <laughs> it might be time. Um, you are going to want to go from here to here and from here to, he to here. I don't know where, where everyone's going or what. And from here to here. Okay, and then we'll bring it out. Oof. This is terrible, isn't it? Here I am saying I want to bring titanium in here, but I'm going to need to bring this stuff out, like here. Okay, let's get this sulfuric over. You require sulfuric, right? Okay, so we're going to go from the end of here and up. 
here, we're going to go up and then across this way and to ensure we have spaghetti and then come across here here and we're going to go down yep excellent spaghetti it is yeah, so we don't need to bring anything in there we do need to bring it in oh no we're good at that end this should make steel uh the whatever it is this high grade stuff okay they are underway good stuff let us look at this interstellar requires 40 of this it requires one of them and 20 of these guys so i've got i've got one of them i'm going to need a second and then what 80 of that metal stuff so let's put a storage box and go from here to here and and then limit you down to I don't know, I don't know what it stacks to so we'll find that out in a second sulfuric is what we're waiting on so, not the Tesla Tower, on storage, we've got 32, what did I say I needed each? 40. So let's run down and get the things we need in here, which I don't think I even spread out to go into a storage, which is bad on my part. Here I was before going, I'm going to put a cut in. No, no cuts. Uh, no, I did do a storage, good. Um grab all of that. Can I build one of these? Nope, I'm missing the chips and the titanium. Ish. Um, chips, is that enough? Just need the titanium now, so... What did I pick up? I've got 55. Let's grab another chunk of chips. Zoom back over here and grab some titanium. I probably need to start some other research going. Oop, we go further north. Further this way. I don't know which way is north anymore. Hello, where are we? Oop, titanium. Can I have some please? Thank you. So let's build one of these guys. And then we want... We just need the 80... 80 titanium alloy now. We have pity. <laughs> Look at that. I want two of them. Thank you. So this is all in the process of bringing titanium down to the planet. Let's have a quick look at research. Maybe we can do some upgrades while we're waiting. No, that's purple. That's 300 of each and gives us some more power. So let's do that. 400 of the first two. 400. 400. And then I need to probably start looking at doing some of this sort of cargo stacking lots to do down here okay while that's running let's also look at making these guys the logistics vessels so I need to make this which is easy I'm gonna grab some more of this metal once it's produced let me grab what is it five I want some more of these electromagnetic turbines. Zoom, they're down here somewhere. Oh, that didn't actually finish getting rid of that belt. Look at that. Uh, so, electric magnetic turbine. Am I out again? Are you making heaps? No. Where do they go? Uh, we're, we're almost using them as fast as we can. Uh, they go up here. There's literally five in there. Five in there. I don't have them in the storage box. Which is a touch daft. I do have to admit. And they go over here. Ten. Okay, so I've got fifty, so that's going to be at least five. We've got 55, so that's 6. I want probably, I don't know, 10. Let's go for 100. It's 
uh, I need to sort my inventory. Probably need some power too. Yeah, running out. That's why we made that other stuff, right? Put them in. Uh, okay, so things here will actually be stopping because I don't have this stuff coming in. Let's dismantle that and that and then put this belt down Get out of here oh should I have actually do that I think I need to yes I do I need to actually select a, a thing so let's get rid of that belt good stuff Okay, we do that, and it will bring the material out. And we're back to making items again. Nice. Right, let's see what we can do here. What were we going to make? I need to make some thrusters. These take two each. So I can currently make zero of these because I don't have any of the alloy. Let's zip back up the top, grab some alloy. I think we're gonna end up with like one. Uh, you, please. 72 is good. Let's make. How many can I make? I can make 14. Let's make the 14. And then these guys are gonna require more alloy. Which I think I just really just. I've got two. No, that's diamonds. Or whatever these things are. Titanium crystals. And you require... 10. I can currently make... 1. <laughs> One's better than none, right? Alright, let's see how big this guy is. Oh my gosh. That's enormous. But I'm going to build him. And he's going to have established power. an interstellar logistics station and opened the first node of logistics transportation among the planets. With it, no need to transport cargo between planets manually anymore. Just set to remote supply in the site on the raw material supply planet. The logistics vessel will bring the cargo to the other planets with corresponding remote demand sites accordingly. Setting local supply and demand can also inherit the functions of ordinary logistics station at the same time. Wow. So at this point, I've selected remote demand and local supply. So that should mean I should be able to put that belt in like I had before. Bring it out, and we want titanium. I'm going to bring it to there, and then let's get rid of this guy. And then we'll get our belt. Continue it up there. And then that goes into here. Cool. You just need power, which is probably going to like bankrupt my power supply. Oh, look at that. How much power do you need? All of it, apparently. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh my gosh. We have found the most power hungry thing ever. We are currently generating 53. This thing requires 60 megawatts itself. What are these put out? What's a wind turbine put out? 300 kilowatts. Um, wow. Uh, and these guys put out two megawatts so I would need 30 thermal power stations to run that and that alone holy dooly um, how many of these we got so I'm gonna need something let's put this fuel in these only stack to 30s too, by the way. I've got 4.28 gigajoules of power on me, though. 
Um, but once we set up this, I'm trying to think how many, how many, um, oh, wrong button. How many solar panels would that be? So they put out 300 kilowatts. We need 30,000 kilowatts. Is that right? So three is one. 60. No, I'm on that. <laughs> uh, even the solars don't put out that much. So wow. I think I'm going to have to uh, research the the nuclear stuff, wherever that is. Uh, I think I've got some of it. Hydrogen fuel rod. There is a mini fusion power generator. There we go. But we're going to have to make deuterium. So I think that's what we're going to be doing next episode. Is we're going to be making uh, fractionators. Is it? It makes deuterium from hydrogen. Okay, and then deuterium. And one of those motor things and one of those okay this makes 600 megajoules and we need one of these guys probably to make it oh no that's the mini fusion power station so they produce nine megawatts so we're still gonna need I don't know ten of them would be 90 we need about seven or so of them just to produce enough power to run that interstellar. So power, power is next episode. I'm going to work through, uh, I'm going to queue this one up and we're going to do some uh, some power generation stuff. I'm just going to let the game run so we can build up some things. We'll go and get some more, um, some more titanium from the other planet and then bring it back. And yeah, we're working towards power generation because we don't have enough. Anyway, until next time, thank you all for watching. Comments down below. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye now.